What's up guys, Ankle Spankin' here, and today we're playing as Ari in the mid lane in just a uh, normal game. Just felt like playing uh, felt like playing some more Ari. Even though we did play her rather recently, I actually was seen on Sovitia's stream, actually, and asked, hey, who should I play? And she said either Morgana or Ari, so we ended up going with Ari. Because uh, as some of you guys may or may not know, I'm probably the worst Morgana in the entire world. But that is a... Okay. Plus, Ari sounded really fun to me, so that's cool. And if you guys don't know who that is, I'll have a link to her stream in the description below. She does stream quite often, and she's a pretty, pretty cool lady. So, with that said, let's go on with this game. It looks like I will be against a casted in this game, f, -f, f fat Hank. And he is actually running teleport, so that could be a little interesting to be against. Um, because that means he's really lowering his kill potential on me, but he's really, really up in the already incredible amount of roam that Cassidy has. So, who knows? We'll see if it works out for him. Anyways, also, it looks like Olaf will be against a Irelia in the top lane. And then we have Jarvan versus Lee Sin for the jungles. And then Thresh and Jinx bottom versus Jinx and Leona. So, sadly, it's a mirror matchup. I don't know why I'm sitting over here. I'm a mid laner. I'm not supposed to leash. I was kind of kind of guarding for the invade if it happened but I would kind of doubt it with their team they would not have a very good time invading anyways as with any other lane matchup let's go ahead and get right on with uh, with CSing and to play against the Cassidy, um maybe this guy will display the reason why you always always see Cassidy and Bam pretty much a hundred percent of games in ranked because Cassidy is amazing and I actually missed that key I was trying to hit him and the minion with it uh, that's a shame. And the reason being is that Cassidy is such a late game monster, and no matter how much you shut, well not no matter, um, the problem with Cassidy is that even if you shut him down really, really well, you're only delaying the inevitable with Cassidy, and that would be him absolutely murdering everyone. So, gain as much auto attack poke off on him as I can here, because if I can deny him as much as I can early, like I said, that will deny him from doing tons of stuff. So let's go ahead and get a bunch of damage off on him there. Uh, actually, if I hit a charm on him, I'll be able to kill him. So that is that is going to be the goal. And Lee Sin is top right now, so this gives us a chance. Ooh, if he hit, oh, if I hit that dude, if I hit that, that would have been so good, and that would have been first blood for me. But you know, you know me, I can't hit shit. So let's see, 85, 70. That would be 155 mana. I may be able to kill him if I hit him with a charm. So. Oh, hello, Lee. Let's go ahead and yeah, that will be a dead cast in for the first blood. And come on, first blood, there it is. <laughs> Alright, at least cast didn't get even an assist off on me. So it's just Lee Sing killing me right there. Uh, things could have gone a lot worse for me. Plus, I didn't bust my flash. I figured if I busted my flash that it would have been a waste, as I was pretty sure I was dead anyways. Because Lee Sin had me with his slow and his red buff auto attack. So, picking up the first blood for us, um, and a no assist kill on myself for Lee Sin. And great job for our top laner Olaf up there actually taking down Irelia in a 1v1. So, good job goes out to him, and that will put us ahead. And it looks like bot lane is doing very well as well. Let's see, 10 to 21. Hell yeah, they're doing well. Let's see, how's the CS in mid? I'm actually behind, and it looks like Lee Sin picked up a kill on the Olaf, actually. So I'm guessing he overstayed his welcome. <sighs> but I shouldn't be behind on this cast in for too long, because after, um, after I get... Oh, no. Okay, good, I got it. I got it, we're good. And that will be a charm hit. He actually... Oh, my goodness, he missed the knockout. But let's see this. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Let's go ahead and... Whoa, the flash auto. And I'll pick up that kill with the Orb of Deception. Uh, the flash was a little unnecessary, but it's always better to be safe than sorry. So good job to him. And I'll be able to push this in and keep that up. So, actually, I may have a better time to go back right now. Never mind, Cassidy is teleporting, so I'll just pop a potion and stay in lane here. Cast TP down. That'll be up in, what, like five minutes, I think? Yeah, five minutes about. Four and a half minutes, so, you know, about the ten minute mark it'll be up. 
So after he's probably around level eight or nine, so he'll have probably already been roaming by that point. But who knows? Who knows? If he actually comes in ganks again, if I can just lay another charm, we can probably kill him again before his flash is up. So that's one thing I do actually recommend you guys ask uh, your junglers to do if you ever find yourself mid against a Cassidy and just camp him, because the more he dies and the longer you stall off his, you know, domination. Um, the better off you'll really be, because, you know, it's pretty, pretty disgustingly difficult to deal with a Cassidy who really has any momentum going for him at all. And actually, now that I hit 6, I'm really not that scared of the Lee Sin, uh, who is bottom right now anyway, so I don't really need to ward. But, after your 6 is already and you have your ult up, you don't really need to worry about ganks from, I'm not going to say anyone, but for the most part, you don't need to worry about them near as much because you can just ult out and you'll usually more often than not be fine because it's pretty much a three charge flash. Uh, very useful thing. Very, very useful. Of course, you need the mana required to use it, but I feel like that's pretty given. Anyways, uh, what's the CS looking like? It's third. Oh, hello, Lisa. And I'm going to go ahead and actually just ult out of here before he gets another auto and kicks me. And I will go back on that note and get myself some boots and another Doran's Ring. Because I would like to do as much damage as I can right now. And I'll actually pick up another ward while my ult's down. But I would obviously like to get a Needless if I could as, as soon as I can. Um, but you know what? I can't afford it. Getting the boots to try and get me scooting around everywhere and getting the second Doran's Ring for more AP... It's it's still very helpful. It looks like Jarvin just having a little good time with him right there. Giving Cassidy the blue, that will uh, that will actually be very, very difficult for me to deal with. Unless I'm able to pretty much one-shot him. Uh, that'll be really all I need to do. Actually, I don't want to miss the Siege Minion, so I'm not going to go hit him with that, or help him with that. Yet. There we go. Now I'll come get it. Because I really don't want to miss the Siege to get a blue. Um... But now the Cassidy in 6, this is when things get a little spooky. Because Cassidy immediately goes from being one of the least lane dominant champions in the game to probably the exact ideal mid lane champion. Um, which actually will not apply here in the near future. Because uh, they are actually nerfing Cassidy. So, fun fact, let's go ahead and... Oh, nail him! That will be a kill! Give me that, Blue Cassidy! You ran into the wrong charm, buddy. And that will be a kill off on him. No more blue for the Cassidy. And that will... Wow, that will help so, so much. Actually, and I am going to go bottom now. Because I do have my ultimate. So, we should be in a really, really good position. The only problem is that Jinx is 6 and they are Jinx is not. Oh, the hook landing onto Jinx and the zap coming out. They don't even need me, dude. They don't even... Oh, my God. The Super Mega Death Rocket missed the charm going to land here. Now, let's go ahead and ult her and uh, maybe... I don't know if I could... I don't know if I should die. Oh, I should totally dive this. Dude, always dive. And let's go ahead and... Woo! Taxi service on out of here. Getting me out of there nice and clean. Thank you, Thresh. And a very successful roam for me, and they will be able to, I don't know what they're going to, okay, that's unsuccessful, I saw that, don't you think I didn't see that, ah, and actually, I'm going to do this, so I can get myself a needlessly large rod, very worth, in my opinion, to sell one of my Doran's rings to pick that up, and wow, this dude is ballsy, oh wait, no, Cassian doesn't have a, a uh, ignite, so it's totally not ballsy at all. That's pretty, that's really puzzling to be honest, because as an assassin like that, it's pretty imperative to have Ignite. Um, like, it's disgusting how important Ignite is, because if you can't do your job as an assassin, then what's the point, right? But actually, I guess it doesn't really matter with how much damage Cassian really does. Um, but Cassian is in a very sticky situation against me now, because now that I have my Needless, I'm going to be doing immense amounts more damage, dodging my charm with this Rift Walk, dodging my Q by sidestepping, and then I'll take a turret shot for laying my Foxfire hit him. So let's go ahead and, yeah, hit him with both swings of that. And I'm just going to shrink it up this side to see if Lee Sin is coming for me, which he was not. Good thing. And 
One thing you can do, I found out a lot is Ari. If you get ahead against a Cassadin like I am right now. Oh, hello, Lee Sin. But if you, uh, if you find yourself trying to ult in him and he tries to ult away, you can just keep ulting after him. There is absolutely no reason that you can't do that. So, always do it. And I guess I could roam down bottom with Jarvan. Cassidy's teleport will be up, so he could join this fight. But it is a very strong possibility of things we could do. So, if we go into this... Could be a fight we really want. Let's see. Are we go oh, they don't have a tower. That's right. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Oh, the Cataclysm coming out. Let's go ahead and charm. Oh, I was seeing if Lee Sin would come in. But it looks like he's not. Let's go ahead and Spirit Rush over here. Spirit Rush back away. And Spirit Rush back into the fight. Go ahead and use all of this on them. Flash Charm coming out. Her barrier's coming out, but that will be a death for her at the end of the day anyways. And another very, very extremely successful roam coming out with three assists from there. Two assists, maybe? And Cassidy never even moved. So he is just chilling like the rock he is. And we will pick up this dragon for free. Actually, I do need a blue because I'm using way too much mana right now to uh, keep up with spamming my abilities like I am. But great job to my teammates there, and I'll be able to pick up None of that CS with that Orb of Deception. That is A-OK. -okay. Um, we actually are still ahead of Cassidy and CS, funny enough. So, great job, us. We're awesome. Because winning Cassidy in lanes isn't necessarily a hard thing, but dominating them is a very, very helpful thing. So that's something you should always keep in mind about it. If you're ever feeling bad against the Cassidy, um... You know, just just hope you're dominating him, or else you probably should feel bad, because Cassian is gonna destroy your anus later. And you know, in the in the other role, if you did a role role reversal there, and you were playing the Cassian, if you're even going even in lane as Cassian, then you are doing amazing. You need to keep that shit up, because you're fucking awesome, Cupcake. So now that we have the DFG, we are at I don't want to say the peak of our power, because obviously we're not. We just finished our first item, but. We did just get a massive, massive power spike, and that will definitely help with uh, with our duty of assassinating someone. So if I keep roaming bot like I have been, I can probably just shove my fist so far up Jinx's anus that she won't be able to feel anything tomorrow. Now let's see if I can jack this. It looks like he's not giving this to Cassidy. Oh, wait, is he? Is he? No, he's totally not. Let's go ahead and... Yeah! Let's... Yeah, let's totally mess up and let's yeah there we go picking up the kill on him and I need to be very careful the bot lane is coming up but so is my bot lane let's go ahead and oh let's get out of here before the solar flare hits us charm coming out and that will be a kill off on him save me from the no ignite ah! no the super mega death rocket will it oh picking up the kill with the super mega death rocket on our team flashing out of the death sentence and that will be a blue for the jinx Still good, good job. Definitely a good job. Sad that I died, but great job nonetheless on my team. Hopefully no one saw me face bang the wall right here when I tried to go over the wall originally. Uh, but you know, things happen, things do happen. Still good for us though. And actually, I don't mind giving the enemy Jinx the blue, because that was their blue anyways. So, you know, her having that isn't the worst thing, because our Jinx is ahead. And, um, I can still get our own blue. So, overall, not too shabby. And that will put Cassidy in at 0-4 and 1 as well. So he got his first assist of the game, but he did die again. So, you know, all things considered, still came out on top by a lot. Looks like Jarvan wants to give me this. Thanks a bundle, Jarvan. I love you. I love you. I love you. You're hot. There we go. Give him one of those to really boost his ego a little bit. And let's see if we can just get a Gankaroonie off on this lady up here in top arena lane. And I think she knows. Oh, I think they know! I think they know! No! <laughs> they knew. Alright. Uh, yep. Yep. My ultimate just came up, so... Tis a shame. I, I'm... I'm literally just throwing blue buffs at their team. <laughs> <laughs> That's the second blue I've given to their team now in like the last two minutes. So ruining my KDA. Um, oh, 
Oh yeah, my ult came up like right as I was getting murdered by them. I was hoping I would be able to kite long enough to uh, get a kill or get away or something. But, you know, things happen. Things happen. And let's work on our, uh, let's see, are they getting magic resistance? Nope, not really. Just, just slightly. But not enough for me to really concern myself with because I have sorcerer's shoes. So, you know what, I'll just get the Rabadons instead. Um, if people are stacking magic resistance against you, it is a very viable option to actually go straight for a void staff after you get your DFG. Because, as I was saying earlier, it reinforces your role as an assassin. Because um, if people are trying to build against you, and you counter their building of, or their build against you, then you'll come out on top and still kill them. Where you don't really need the Rabadons to be doing your massive damage, you just need the, um, the ability to Shrek. So, I'm actually not going to bother with going bottom because they don't need me down there at all. Um, Olaf, definitely in a little bit of trouble, but should be fine. And I will be able to actually get some damage off on this tower, uh, which is why I'm staying here. It looks like Lee Sin coming over here doing his wolves, but you know what? I ain't about that. There we go. He's just ward hopping over here. These, these ain't your wolves, son. These ain't your wolves. So I'm just going to do some damage to this tower now because Cassian is actually still top. So, I may be able to even get this tower. It's, wow, it's actually looking like I will be able to. Just because I chose to push instead of follow. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks like I will. Awesome. Fan oh, wait, no, I'm going to have to tank some tower shots, maybe. Oh, nope, mains right perfectly. There we go, just getting that mid tower down now. Pretty sweet, pretty swag. And let's see if I can come bottom and help him out here. Lee Sin over there popping his smite. Well, let's go ahead and fly in here and let's wham! The DFG coming out will totally miss my charm but it doesn't even matter. Let's go ahead and oh, auto attacker to death. Spirit rush back over here and shoot the charm out. Or not charm, the whoa there's the charm and I missed. Uh, it is a shame. Yeah I'm getting a little little aggressive here. Alright team kill them all. Dodging the Q. Looks like Jarvan coming in right at the opportune time, beating the fuck out of Cassin. And Cassin's like, oh shit, son, I have walked into a horrible place. And, oh, the Flash Auto smacking him with that Flagstaff will take him down to his knees. And we will get a needlessly large rod. Another needlessly large rod. Because I am totally ruining my KDA to be super aggressive. And you know what? I'm strangely okay with doing this. Looks like Lee Sin found a fucking Jarvan in the bush. Death Sentence coming out. Will? Nope. Will not sentence him to his death. Irelia going in. Olaf looking like he's trying to make his way down here. The Cataclysm coming out on Lee Sin. And he's just going to get shanked into his abaroos. And that will be a death for him. But looks like Thresh running for his life here. Hopefully I can... Oh, the Blade Surge didn't kill him. Now let's go ahead and charm her right there. She is not getting this Thresh while I'm alive. So, oh wait, Transcendent Blade. Oh, yep, she's getting Thresh while I'm alive. But she's going to die. So, Jinx picking up the kill there. I think it's called Transcend... Just something, something blades? I don't know. Her ultimate. <laughs> her, her ultimate. It shoots four swords that do damage and heals her. So that's what she'd do. And I actually have enough money to get my blasting one next time I back. So we're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well. Pretty good. We're doing good. Let's spit this potion popping and uh, let's actually work on getting this blue buff from Lee. Ooh, wait. Hiya! Let's go ahead and blow her up! Dodge everything and that will be a kill. See ya, Jinx. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah! You came around the wrong corner. Blowing her up with that ultimate. And uh, my Foxfire and just not getting hit by your stuff. So, <laughs> I don't know. It's no danger. I have no sense of fear, if you guys don't know. Unless I'm screaming like a girl and then my sense of fear is very real. Nice! Getting all four of those. And I'll give them a, I'll give, you know, I'll give them all free tickets to the gun show. Give them a little flex everywhere. Let's go ahead and t charm that. And after these, I may, if they get drag, yeah, if they get that dragon, I get my rabidons. No, 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 they're not getting the dragon. I really is here. What the hell? No! Oh, Thresh, Thresh, my friend. No, don't lantern me. I don't want to get in this fight. Whoa, Super Mega Death Rock coming out on me, and the charm will not land. See ya, Thresh. Good luck, buddy. Good luck in your afterlife. Face of the Mountain coming out will not save him. Um, see ya, bud. <laughs> see ya. Oh, wait. Can I get it? Can I get it? Uh, they're gonna ward. They know. They know. Uh, no. 
No. Eh. Ah, no! Why'd you flash, you bitch? Uh, uh, my bones. Uh, uh, I really has no flesh. All right. Well, got the rabbitons, so we'll be able to do tons of damage. And Jarvin just gotta go clear this wave. Looking pretty tasty there. I gotta tell you. Jarvin, you're looking very sexy, and Olaf just not giving a good goddamn, and actually he is giving, oh, yeah, he's giving a goddamn. Um, <laughs> your mom! <laughs> Never mind, I take that back, Olaf gives many goddams. <sighs> but this game is still kind of going in our favor, and um, by kind of, I mean I think it's definitely going in our favor, even though I'm turning into a dirty feeder, that is not going to be a problem, because I'm awesome. I may be dying a lot, but I'm killing a lot. And you know, by my book, that is A-OK. -okay. Because as long as I have an effect and do my job, I will be terror. I am the terror that is the Ari. No, F that. Never group. Always solo. Where is Cassidy? Where are you going, Cass? Where are you going? <laughs> Cassidy's gonna rift walk and I'm gonna be like, Yo, son! He went this way. Damn it! He went over here. You're up there. I hate this. I shouldn't have warded. If I didn't ward, he would have done the wraith spin like, oh, hunky-dory, everything's fine, and then BAM! Out of nowhere, the fox fire and the spirit rush and the wham, bam, right in his clam would have come out. And he would have been so dead. Been like, yo, son. He would have been like, yo, don't do that. So let's see if I can, ooh, can I pop someone? Oh, jinx, oh, jinx, you are getting dove, my dear. Hello, and that will be whoosh! There's the kill. Oh, no, save me! Ah! No, please. I'm fine. Never mind. We're good. <laughs> Hello, my dear. See ya, my dear. And that will be the ultimate. And it looks like Irelia coming in. Flame Chomper is just going to stop her right in her tracks, though. But since it is Irelia, you know, she's got all of her uh, super amounts of tenacity built into her passive. She does not give a good goddamn. And Jarvan coming in. Looks like Olaf's actually building... Yeah, he's going damage Olaf. But here I come into the battle. Bought the home guard to see if I can get there a bit faster. Olaf popping his ultimate. Try and get out of there. Will not find an exit route. No, Olaf. No, Olaf. Please. And Olaf is down for the count. Let's see if we can do something, though. Hello, Irelia. Irelia, come out this way. Come out this way, my dear. Yes. And whoosh! Nailing the charm! And Irelia looking like she's not going to go down. Whoa, Jarfin! Whoa, my friend! What are you doing? Whoa, 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 whoa! There's a dagger! Get shit! You baited me. Whoa! Beep, beep, beep. Nope. Never mind. I got excited. I thought she was going to land another awesome rocket. I was really hoping that we wouldn't do much of anything until I had my ult up. Uh, I really should have tried... I was trying to get my ignite off on someone. But, um... I didn't flash far enough so I can get my charm off on her. And, you know... Think... Just, just you know, think about things. Why you never hit a knockup. There we go. A little friendly trash talk and banter towards this guy. So... <laughs> Let us rush back out to the mid lane with my fire feet. And... We will go in here. And let's see. Got all that farm for him. Got some of his farm from me. And actually, yes, I am still beating Cassidy in farm. I am the superior mid laner. Plus, I have taken two towers. Me and I am by far the superior mid laner. Oh, Jinx, my dear. Are we going to go over this again? I feel like you know better than to face me in the face. So let's, mmm, this, yes. Oh, fuck you, Jinx. Their blue is up. Their blue. Are you okay, Olaf? I don't know if you can duel him. Wait! Wait! I should not open my mouth like that again. Just beating the fuck out of her. The hook coming out. Thresh actually beating up Jinx 1v1. And the worm! And the burn! The burn! Yeah, there we go. And then the hern! And the burn! And the burn! And the yeah! Woo! Hell yeah. <laughs> that is exactly how all fights go in my head. So... <laughs> Let's go ahead and grab their blue. 9, 6, and 7. And I should be able to get this blue absolutely no problem. Um, just gonna charm it, because actually charming does not reset the buffs anymore. It used to. 
And that was really annoying when you were playing Ari, because, you know, when you were trying to do your, or get the buffs, it would reset it and you'd be like, son of a bitch. And then, oh wait, I'm coming team! I'm coming! I'm coming! The charms! And I may have just been baited! I've been baited! It's over. The game's over. I hate myself. I'm dead. It's over. <laughs> it's over. It's over. I'm, I'm literally never helping anyone again. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm never trying to do anything for anyone ever again. There's like the 15th blue I've given to their team and another bait for my head. Mm. We need to group up. We need to group now. Because we're starting to throw a little bit. They're starting to get back into the game. I don't think they really have a chance to win. But um, the problem is Cassin is starting to get to a point where he's getting strong. Uh, Lee Sin is going like hybrid damage and tank so he's not gonna be too spooky but um you know the later this game goes with the cast in on their team it's not okay uh cuz you know good or bad a, a, a cast in really just needs to smash his keyboard and he'll kill everyone um so you know that's why he's banned all the time too let's see what does our Jarvan have he's, he's looking pretty tanky he's looking pretty pretty cute so let's go ahead and just get this TY Good job. Tell him good job for giving me the blue. Good job. You're looking great today. You're gonna do great things. There we go. Always give someone some encouraging words. You never know how much they'll help. Let's go ahead and launch a Q over here. Get that one CS. Fuck yeah. Get two CS. Even fuck yeah. -er. And, oh, Cassidy. Oh, my boys, they're doing this. Let us stop them in glorious combat on the Summoner's Rift, my friends. Super Mega Death Rock coming out. And we'll miss. Let's go ahead and just, you know, mess with them a little bit. Eh, where am I going? And, 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 Get me out of here. Get off me! Oh my god, she does so much damage. Holy, oh my god, that hook. The face of the mountain. The thresh. The jinx is over here. Ah, they hit her with the charm. Kill her. Yes. Eh. Get me out of here. Oh my god, this Thresh is Jesus himself. Jesus reincarnated. I love you. Oh, I thought I was dead. I thought I was dead. Thresh, you're God. <laughs> you're literally God, Thresh. Oh, I love this guy. Alright, Home Guard's kicking in. And we will definitely get that mid tower out of this too. So that's going down. Whoa, Jinx doing some big damage there with that auto attack. And they will get that inhibitor, possibly, if Jinx decides she wants to shoot it. There we go. Jinx will take down the inhibitor with the help of Ice Spoon and Spirit of Anger. Ice Spoon and Spirit of Anger. Uh, and it looks like they want to do Baron. We can actually... <laughs> when the world turns on you, I'll be here still. Thanks, man. Let's go ahead and do that there. Um, I could try to assassinate someone. This is... The Baron is always a bit awkward for AD carries. Uh, or not 80 carries. I actually didn't even mean to auto it. That's a little, it's a little awkward. Let's go ahead and miss the charm on her. But we got a blower up. Oh, getting the blow it up though. And let's go ahead and get in here. And whoa, get myself out of here. The freaking, oh my god, the cataclysm landing on all of them. We'll keep them in there for the 4v5. Get your hiney off me. Get the fuck off me. And that will be the triple kill for the Olaf with the ace actually. Great. Great job, team. Beautiful Cataclysm, beautiful everythings, including you, Thresh. Even though you weren't there, you were there for the moral support. And I can't even begin to tell you how important that is. So great job to everyone involved. And it looks like we're going to try and finish this game out here. Not sure if we'll be able to, but we're going for it. We gotta try. We gotta, we gotta try. So if we can do it, then hell yeah. But if we can't, then uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, the charm! No, get me out of here! Uh-oh. Alright, we gotta try and kill Irelia. Irelia's a scary one. Oh, Super Mega Death Rock coming out will not kill, though. So, while you guys are all tangoing with them... Hey, can you not? Oh, oh... Oh, the face of the mountain again! This Thresh! This Thresh! <laughs> oh, these faces of the mountains! Oh, my lord! And charm! Oh, no! Spirit Rush and... Whoa, no! He hit me with it. And Thresh, get him. Yes, the hook will kill him. 
Great job there. Solar Flare coming out, but Jinx is here now. The party has just begun. So, they tried, and I was, I was taken down at the end of the day. The game will not end just yet. And Jinx is saying, yo, I got this top tower, Holmes, because she's Jinx, and she'll just take it down in like three-fourths of a second. The Flash actually coming out over there. And it looks like, oh, the Flash coming out from Jinx. And will she? Oh, oh, maybe, maybe, and the out duel. So I rally a bit off a bit more than she could chew there. And that will be the end of her life. Cassidy coming in. Jinx is boned. See ya, Jinx. Oh, the Super Mega Death Rocket. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Barely missing. And that will be that. Looks like Kelly's linking me something on Twitter. I'll check it after this game. Um, and as you can tell, it's probably going to be amazing. But we'll see it after this game. And of course, hopefully Kelly feels better. She just had a tooth pulled today. So, you know, everyone, hope hopefully she feels better. She's, she's great. Kelly's great. But let's go ahead and get back on with this game. We should try and close it out pretty soon here. Uh, let's not get killed. That would be pretty bad right now. Uh, whoa, Olaf doing big things here. Maybe, is he doing big, th oh, hello, Leona. All right, time for me to do big things. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it, possibly. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez. Come to us, come to us. We love you, we love you, yeah. There we go, getting the charm. He's dead. Spirit Rush coming out here, Ignite coming out here, and he flashed over the wall. What a cheeky one. And let's not get ourselves into this situation. Ah, ah, they, they're on to me. Save me, damn it. She does so much totally damage. Oh, I was right, it is Transcendent Blades. Damn, she did a lot of damage, though. I was not expecting that amount of damage. And Olaf not giving a fuck. Just 1v4 in their team. <laughs> Holy shit, Olaf. The double rocket kill for the auto attack, Jinx. And that should be the end of the game. GG's coming out here. And that will be that. After they take this inhibitor, Jinx, w or Jinx and Jarvan will proceed to end this game. And with an impressive show of how much Olaf can tank. Uh, and a good display of teamwork with Jinx and Jarvan. And me getting blown up because I'm a fool. It's, it will be the end of this game. So, looks like, oh, Jinx is bloodthirsty and she's, oh wait, yep, Jarvan, you gotta get it now. Or else I'm gonna look like a fool. Jarvan, yeah, there we go. <laughs> GG, guys. That will be the end of that game. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and favor to let me out. If you want to, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Twitch. I'll be in the description below. And as always, I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace and blessings.